Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. And welcome back to Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir. <laughs> I was bored and I suddenly got a notification from the Discord, so I just came. Oh, nice! Well, like I said, welcome in. We're uh, we're trying to solve a murder mystery here, so we'll see how this all goes. Like I said, I'm here with the lovely Wow Jinxie. Uh, we're, she's helping me to try and crack this case wide open. We'll see how it goes as we resume investigation. Uh, oh. Shit, where were we? Uh... <clears throat> well, considering that's an auto save and this is a manual save, I'm guessing this one. Load this data, yes. Okay. Chapter 4, The Curse. Review plot thus far. Yes, please. <clears throat> While looking into the death of Kiku Ayashiro, chairwoman of Ayashiro Corporation, who died after her will was read, a person of interest in Kiku's nephew, Kanji, was murdered. Amidst all of this, the people of Myojin Village began to whisper amongst themselves, spreading rumors about Kiku rising from the grave and murdering Kanji. Ayumi locates a store that purchased a vase with the Ayashiro family crest from a man in his early twenties. She also gets info about a witness who spotted Akira in a car. Then Dr. Kumada reveals the unsettling information that Kanji was already dead before he was stabbed. What? Wait, I don't remember that! Wait a minute! Do you remember this? Uh... <clears throat> yes. Oh, wait, wait. Hi, Akiho. Wait, know. you can't hear Jinxie? I, I, I do remember this, though. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the snack, V4. Selfie, I trust your judgment. Can you hear Jinxie just fine? A bit better? Okay. I mean, if I have to, I'll turn Jinxie up to 200%. Okay, wait. So what were we doing? Travel. Oh, we were right about to head back to the office. I think. Maybe turn them up a tad. Okay. To heck with it. We're going full blast. 200%. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Remember? That doesn't help. Look at notepad. Okay, victims. Kanji Ayashiro. Kiku's nephew, present during the ring of the will. Eldest of three siblings. Currently staying at the mansion because of the will reading. He normally lives elsewhere. Was at the mansion when Kiku died. Claims he didn't know his son Akira was in the mansion at the time. Biggest concern is whether he'll be able to gain control of Ayashiro Corporation due to Kiku's death. Kiku was against Kanji's new project when she was alive. Was found dead from a stab wound in storage. Approximate time of death last night, 10 to 11 p.m. Stabbed from the front directly in the chest with a knife. No signs of a struggle. Culprit thought to be familiar to the victim. The knife was an antique kept in storage. Not in the mansion night before the murder. Zenzu's testimony. Was already dead before being stabbed. Police info. No injuries other than the stab wound that could be the cause of... That could... No injuries other than the stab wound that could be the cause of death. Police info. Okay, then. <clears throat> Hi, Darren. Thank you for the 15 stream streak. Hello. How are you? I hope you're all doing well tonight. As we try to remember what the frick was going on. Holy crap, we have so many characters at this point. About me? Dazaren Jinxie. <laughs> Fell from the top of the cliff and landed on the grass below. Was saved by a man named Amachi. 
Lost memories from impact when his head struck the ground. Worked as an assistant at Utsugi Detective Agency. Met Detective Utsugi while searching for long-lost parents after junior high. Was supposed to meet someone at Unakami Cliff. There was a memo written by me left at the office that says Miyojin Village in Ayashira. Remembered my name. Was investigating death of Kiku. Man who hired me as the family butler. Apparently mentioned a talisman in my delirium after falling. Okay, then. All right, we'll worry about the rest of this after. I guess we will travel back to the office. <clears throat> I think I'll call it a day. Hello, hello, Minty. I hope you're doing well. How are you? My God, how is everyone, by the way? Yeah, let me know in chat. How y'all doing tonight? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing amazing. You're all wonderful. <laughs> Too much? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, please be careful out there. Turn them up a tad. Selfie, you must have super hearing. A bit sick, but all good. Well, you're in good company, then. I'm still a bit sick. I'm doing good. Taking it nice and easy. Is Jinxie supposed to be speaking? Jinxie's mouth's no, moving. No, I'm, I'm not speaking, but I have, like, noise detection thing. Where... Didn't go to work because of it. Did you hear Jinxie just then, Darren? I hope you did, because Jinxie's at 200 bloody percent. I'm a bit slow in zoning out tonight. Been really unwell. Had winter jabs done yesterday, and the side effects have hit me hard since this morning. Oh, ah, I see. Understood. <clears throat> <clears throat> Unlimited power! Okay, they had to have heard that. <laughs> It's so late. It looks like Ayumi left a while ago. Ayumi, what would I do without you? Foul. Uh. Oh, there we go. The next day. Oh, sorry to hear it easy. Hope you recover quickly and yeah, hearing Jinxie there and before. Okay. Alright, follow Jinxie. Aw, thank you. That's sweet of you. Oh, good morning, Dazren. You sure were out late last night. <clears throat> I was waiting for you because I wanted to tell you something, but I got anxious because you never came back. Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. So, what did you want to tell me? Well, after I called you last night, I went to the bar that Akira, Akira frequented. I asked around, and it turns out that Akira owed some money to the Yakuza. But... <clears throat> Apparently... Somehow, he found a way to pay off his debt. Oh, hmm. Suspicious. <gasps> What's more, he told his friends that he was going to become the future CEO of Ayashiro Corporation. What the fuck? This happened just before Miss Kiku died. Wait, before she died? Suspicious. <clears throat> oh, but I couldn't figure out who was in the car with Akira that, Akira that night. I'm sorry. But it sounds like he was a gentlemanly looking man in his 30s or 40s. He and Akira seemed like an unlikely pair, according to witnesses. Hmm. How does it sound like they look the way? That doesn't. What? What? She says it sounded like he looked like. Wait, did she say that? So, unless she heard from someone else that he looked that way, 
if she heard him herself, how did she know how he looked like from the way he sounded? I she never heard the voice of either of these two characters, so I'm guessing someone just described okay. it to her. Someone must have described it, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna sit back and rest a bit. Have a good stream, DZ. Alright, Minty. Get a good rest. You relax. Enjoy yourself. Okay? You get some rest and recover. Un Unlikely, huh? I'm guessing they're not exactly friends. <clears throat> Ayumi, would you mind helping me review yesterday's investigation before we head out for the day? Of course. Um... Hmm. I don't think we need to look or examine anything. What is it? Okay. Remember? I'm curious about the talisman Amachi mentioned. My memory's still fuzzy. Fair enough. Speculate. I wonder if Akira sold the antique, then used the money to pay off his debt. What was his real intention? <clears throat> Akira was telling everyone that he was going to be the future CEO. And who was the man driving around with Akira? At first, it seemed like Akira stabbed Kanji when he was caught stealing. I'm gonna have to be right back in again. Oh, no worries. But now we know Kanji was stabbed after he was already dead. <clears throat> ah. In that case, this murder must have been premeditated, don't you think? Are Kiku... Are Kiku and Kanji's death a part of somebody's plan? Oh, the phone's ringing. I wonder who it is. <clears throat> Hello? This is Utsugi Detective Agency. What? Oh no, Dazaran. What is it? Uh oh. <clears throat> uh oh. Sir Jinxi, you're not going to believe this. Sir Jiro, he. he. <laughs> what? What happened to Jiro? Hello? Mr. Zenzu? <clears throat> the head of the Ayashiro family, Kiku Ayashiro, died of heart failure. The butler of the family found it odd. Dazaran Jinxi was hired by Zenzu to investigate, but during the investigation, a mysterious accident wiped his memory. Uh huh. I'm back. Welcome back. In a village haunted by stories of resurrection, Dazaran finds himself navigating a complex family power struggle. With the murder of the CEO of Yayashiro Corporation, Kanji, the case snowballs into a homicide. And now... Zaran, did you buy apples? What do you mean, did I buy apples? What? What? Why do you ask, V4, and what makes you think I did? Huh? Zenzu has called with more unexpected news. What happened to Kanji's younger brother, Jiro Ayashiro? Oh god. Is it another murder? 
Dazaran rushed to Myojin village. Hmm. Chapter... Well... Chapter 5, The Second Victim. Okay, then. Now we know for sure there's a second victim. Oh! Oh! Thanks, Nintendo. I mean, it's fine. He's just... It, okay, I'm not going to make that joke. Uh. I, I already know what you're going to make, so I'll just say it instead. No, 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 we have, we need to have more class here. <laughs> we shouldn't make light of this. What awaited me at Myojin Mountain was Jiro Ayashiro's dead body. I don't like that his tongue is hanging out. Why did Jiro... Oh, come on, it's not, it's not a suicide. There's no goddamn way. No. There's no goddamn way. This has got to be there's a murder. Probably nothing, there's probably nothing under his legs, even. Like, yeah, uh, like, no, I do see something. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was a murder made to look like a suicide. Because it looks like there's a tiny stepladder or something there in the background. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, you can't just walk up here like that. Oh, you're the detective from Utsugi's. It's a good thing the detective agency is so well known. I'm sure you're aware, but please tread lightly. Dr. Kamada is conducting an autopsy, so give him some space. Wait, here and now? Doesn't an autopsy involve cutting open the body? It can. It depends. Understood. Sometimes moving the body might tamper with, like, what, you know. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Uh, look. Police? They're the same police I met when Kanji was murdered. Uh, look where? Forensics. The grass is tall around here. It must make it difficult to search for evidence. <clears throat> okay, no, no difference there. Uh, wood? I don't think this gives me eight. Okay. Uh, forensics is probably going to say the same thing. I can see the mansion from here. I wonder what was going through Jiro's mind before he died. Uh, Kumara. Seems like they're investigating the crime scene. Uh huh. <clears throat> oh, we got a nice close up of the hanging body. How lovely. Uh, oh, oh boy. Damn, Nintendo. It's a ladder. Maybe Jiro used it before he died? I mean, if this actually was, you know, then that would make sense, but I don't think it was. Jiro Ayashiro's body is hanging lifelessly. Alright, we'll back off. Um, talk. Mm, cause of death. I mean, cause of death. It's clearly a suicide. Uh huh. Sure, it is. <clears throat> Time of death? You can ask Dr. Kamada for more details. Alright. Uh, body? Okay, same same thing. What they know. Although this is likely a suicide, we haven't found any notes left behind at the site. Hmm. Let's call Kumara. Doctor Kumara. 
Oh. Hey, Dazrat. Gosh, can you believe how crazy things have gotten? <clears throat> I mean, I'm looking right at it, so kind of. Hmm. From what I can see, he died from asphyxiation by hanging. Well, that's kind of the obvious one. I mean... Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. Technically, with the older methods, it would be the neck snap, wouldn't it? Uh, depends. Uh, a neck snap happens if they are on a gallows and, and then the, there's a drop. Them. Yeah. Okay. But a normal hanging like that isn't enough to do a neck snap. It will be just asphyxiation. Okay. What's the approximate time of death? Between midnight and 1 a.m., Zenzu was the first to discover the body this morning during his morning walk. I can't believe Zenzu found yet another body after Kanji. I hope he's okay. Mm. I that points to Zenzu as a possible. A little bit, but I'm gonna say this. Like, okay. Okay. So, if we go with the possibility that it's Zenzu. Mm -hmm. Then there's a couple things to consider there. Main one being, they're the one that hired us, possibly to be an alibi for them not being a suspect. Because why would he hire a detective to look into all this if he was behind it, right? Right. He's staring into my soul? A little bit, yeah. However, and here's my only problem with it being Zenzu, other than just kind of liking the character, uh, I really hope this is not the butler did it. I mean, uh, yeah, I get it. It's a, it's a trope. Uh huh. The, time, the, the game is a remake <clears throat> of a game that came out from the 1980s, so it wasn't as bad of a trope at the time. Fair, fair, but I don't know. I'm kind of hoping it's not the butler did it. Uh, body. Just take a look. Oh, well, okay. What they know? Did you notice anything from the area where Jiro's body was found? <clears throat> you can look for yourself. There's nothing I noticed in particular. Uh... Oh, can we call Zenzu? I heard Zenzu was the first to discover the body, but he's not around. Maybe he's back at the mansion? Okay. Uh. Oh, what's going on? Uh, uh hmm. Are we allowed to check the body now? Maybe. It's just a ladder. Okay. Will it let us examine more closely? Um, hanging lifelessly. Oh, rope. This rope is cinched so thoroughly. It's tied two or three times. Okay. That seemed like an important detail. No other area catches my eye. Mm. Is there anything else at all? Mm, mm, mm. Looking for any pixel on the body. Nothing else about the stepladder. Hmm. I guess that's it. Nothing about the shoes, no? Okay. Back up. <clears throat> uh, call... Try call Zenzu again? No, okay. Won't let us do that. Police? 
do need something, just try to stay out of the way. Uh, this must be tough for you. What were you investigating in the first place? Uh, okay, um, it's not letting us leave. Examine Kumada, police, no. Do I notice anything? Wait. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I should be looking for, if anything. Forensics team is working hard. <clears throat> Ladder. Um, maybe the dog? No. Forest is thick with trees. Damn. Uh, not sure what else I can do. Kumara? Oh, no. Anything else you can tell me? Uh, you already gave me a time of death. Just take a look. Well, we looked at the body. Staring into myself. Is that an... I saw two. You saw two what, V4? Oh, wait, here we go. Did, did anything about the rope catch your eye? <clears throat> Well, actually, the rope was tied pretty thoroughly. I guess he was determined to die. You don't mm. really, really, like, come on. Hmm. Come on, Kamala. Do you really believe this is a suicide? I mean... Hmm. It, it kind of comes down to whether or not people think there's anything funny going on. Okay, thank you for the snack before one second. There we go. Hmm. Anything else? Um, now can we call Zenzu? Oh, wait. Shit. Uh, there it is. Oh, did you want to talk to Zenzu? I think he's back at the mansion. I need to ask Zenzu for details about how and when he discovered the body. If you need to talk to anyone from the mansion, I'll call them over here on my way back to the clinic. <clears throat> Alright, perfect. That would be great. Thank you. Okay, so we can get Zenzo out here then. A little while after Kamada left, Zenzo and Azusa came to the site of Jiro's death. Oh, Sir Jinxie, Sir, Sir Jiro. <coughs> I'm sorry I couldn't come over. I wanted to check the site as soon as possible. Why do all these terrible things happen to the Ayashiro family? Uh, mm, talk. About Jiro? Mr. Zenzo, you were the first to discover Jiro's body, correct? Y yes, I was. I was so shocked, I was speechless. <clears throat> it 
alibi? May I ask what you were doing last night between midnight and 1 a.m.? Last night, I turned in early. Did you notice anything unusual about Jiro the last time you saw him? Well, actually, Sir Jiro visited the mansion last night. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Jiro isn't usually at the mansion. Huh. Interesting. Sir Jiro returned to get something he had forgotten at the mansion. He seemed relieved after being cleared of suspicion. He was not able to find what he was looking for, however. Hmm. I wonder. Do you I think... I think I know what he was looking for. Well, I'm just thinking for a second here. Do you think maybe it's possible that, like... Okay. This is going to sound a little weird. What if one person, you know, was involved in Kiku's death, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, let's just say, for the sake of argument, Kanji, okay? Mm -hmm. Then someone found out, like, say, I don't know, Jiro found out, and then Jiro killed Kanji. And then someone found out that Jiro killed Kanji, and then killed Jiro. Like, I get what you're saying, but... <clears throat> I know, I'm I'm kind of... That would be a bit out there, but... <laughs> well, see, Jiro and Kanji were both looking for something before they died. That is true. Now, the thing is, is that in order to become the, right, the rightful heir, you either have to be next in line... Mm -hmm. Because of everyone else not showing up or dying. Right. Or, you have to have something. <clears throat> Why did this happen? Yes, but like the something they've been talking about for the air, the rightful air and everything. Uh, they talk about it like it's a birthmark or something. We don't know. We don't know. It, it's never stated at least, not yet. But the thing is, is that if it is an object... Mm -hmm an actual object mm. then that means that Jiro and Kanji could have been looking for the object in the mansion or in the mansion area <clears throat> yeah. in order to, mm. to claim rightful heir I mean that's definitely possible okay let's call Azusa first Kanji now Jiro what on earth is going on? Uh, about Jiro? Huh. Don't be ridiculous. Jiro would never commit suicide. So you're saying Jiro was murdered? I don't know. Azusa, what were you doing between midnight and 1am? What's... what's your problem? I don't have to tell you that. Mmm... suspicious. <clears throat> I bet Akira killed Kanji and then Jiro. I could be next. Hold on. Why would Akira want to kill any of you? Who knows what he's thinking? Oh god, okay. So, about the man Akira was seen with. What's your problem? I don't have to tell you anything. Wait, what? Why do you know something about that? Mm. Akane. <clears throat> Is Akane not here? Oh, 
okay. Um, ask Zenzu about Akane, I guess. I hope. No. Uh, hmm. I'm sorry, what? Jesus Christ, Jinx. <laughs> what the fuck? We're here dealing with a man who was murdered and you're making a Dragon Ball joke? <laughs> what in the hell? <clears throat> what? What are you going to do for me? You can't do anything. Uh -huh. Why don't you figure out who Akira was with? You're a detective, aren't you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 